To control a seven segment display, create a new circuit. Let's delete the breadboard that comes with the circuit and add a smaller one. I like this one right here. And then let's add a seven segment display. The seven segment display is going to connect to the breadboard. So to understand what that means, you need to know that all of the, uh, all of the pins in a breadboard are connected in this way. All of these rows are connected. And so you can see they're highlighted in green. So if I plug something in here, there's a piece of metal within the breadboard that electrically connects this pin to anything else that's connected into these other pins. That's the same for every one of these rows. But these rows aren't connected to these rows. They're divided by this little trench here. So these, if I plug something in here, electrically it would be connected to anything else in this row. Down here we have the power rails. They're connected sideways. Um, and so if I plug something in here, electrically it's connected to everything else in this row. Down below that we have the positive power rail. Same story. Uh, you, they are not connected to each other. Generally speaking, this is the negative side of a battery and then we connect this to the positive side of a battery. The next component we're going to want to add is an Arduino. I'm going to use an Arduino Uno. Put it right here. It doesn't quite fit, so I'm going to make my screen a little bit smaller. I'm going to zoom out just a tad so that I can see everything. Now you can see that I have the 5 volt pin. I want to connect that to this red power rail here. That 5 volts is going to supply power to this breadboard. I'm also going to change the uh, color of that wire to red to indicate that it's the positive uh, side of the power source here. And then I'm going to connect the ground to that rail on the breadboard. And I'm going to go ahead and change that wire to be black right here. That's just to indicate that it's the negative side. And I think I'm going to undo that and make it more direct just so that it's easier to see. Here we go. Then I need to connect this seven segment display to that those two power sources. Um, in order to do that I need to energize this rail or the rail above here by connecting it to this rail. Do that by just putting a wire there and again I'm going to make that a red wire to show that it's the positive side and then here I'll do from this rail to that rail making it black because that's the negative side. And then I'm going to need to add some resistors. This resistor is going to connect to the positive side of the power supply and I'll get another resistor to connect to the negative side. Now Electrically, remember, this resistor is connected to this terminal on the seven segment display. If you look close, you'll see one, two, three, four, five different uh, little pins that this seven segment display has on top, and then you'll see five more on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. And so each one of these represents a connection, well, four out of those five represent a uh, segment on this seven segment display that lights up when we 
bring the voltage on this low. This middle one is uh, one of the two pins that's used to power it, and then this middle one is the other pin that's used to power it. So this resistor connects that middle pin to 5 volts, and this resistor connects that middle pin to ground. Next, what we want to do is connect pins on the Arduino that we can program and control to the pins on the seven segment display. So I've just connected pin 13 to what is the E pin here. I'm going to connect pin 12 to the D pin. I'm going to connect pin 11 to the C pin, and I'll connect pin 10 to the DP pin, the decimal point pin. Then I'm going to connect pin 9 up to the B pin, pin 8 up to the A pin, pin 7 will connect to the F pin and pin 6 will connect to the G pin. Now it's time to modify the code. I'm going to go ahead and change this to say Let's see, pin 13 is connected to pin E here. And then I'm going to make another variable, another integer type variable uh, for pin 12, which is connected to pin D. And then another one for, let's see, this is connected to pin C, which is number 11. And then the decimal point DP is connected to pin 10 right there. And then here I have B connected to pin 9. And they call this one A, so int A is connected to pin 8, and pin F on the segment is connected to pin 7 on the Arduino. And finally, the G pin is connected to pin 6 on the Arduino. So now I have a variable for each of the parts of this seven segments display, and each of these variables is uh, more or less storing the value of the pin for the Arduino right here. Now in my setup, I'm going to have to uh, modify it so that instead of saying LED here, it says E. I'm going to have to create another pin mode command for the D uh, part of the segment and I'm going to set that as an output as well and then I'm going to have to do another one for the C alright once you have all of the pin mode commands uh, typed into your setup then it's time to create a function. And I'm going to show you how to create one function. After that, you're going to have to copy and paste to create your own. I'll show you how to get started on the second one. This first function is going to be 
uh, to display the number 1. To do that, I type 1, I give it the name, and then the code that defines this function is going to occur between these two curly braces right here. And it's going to say digital, digital right, and then I'm going to say E, and I'm going to make all of them high to begin with. And once you're done with that, uh, it's important to understand that when we set these high, uh, counter to counterintuitively, that turns all of these off, uh, which is different than what we saw with the LEDs that we plug directly into those pins. Um, to turn part of this segment high, or to, to turn it on, uh, we need to go ahead and look at what segment we want to turn on. I believe the C is this part of the segment right here. So to display the number one, I want the C to be on. So I'm going to actually have to turn that low. And then I'm going to also have to turn this part low, which I believe is part B. So I'm going to set B low as well. OK, so now I have a function that will display the number one, hopefully. And down here, I need to actually call it. Uh, this code for the loop, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of that. That's going to mess us up. So we're going to have an empty loop statement, except for the call to function 1. To call the function, we just type 1, then the parentheses, and a semicolon right there. Now to test my code, I'm going to go ahead and hit Start Simulation. And it looks like I have an error. If I look really uh, carefully, I can actually see what this error says. And it says something about the declaration of one with no type. And so I forgot that when I create a function, I have to put before it, just like you see void setup here, I have to put the word void in front of this one. There's other types of functions we can create, but for this one, we're going to use the word void right now. Now let's go ahead and try it again. And this time you can see that it displays the number 1. To create a function that displays the number 2, you would just copy this right below it, paste it again, but change the name now to 2. And then you're going to have to change the values inside here accordingly. Down here, I want to go ahead and say 1 and then delay for 1,000 milliseconds, which is 1 second. And then call the 2 function. I want to display 2 and then delay again for 1,000. Ideally, what that would do, or what that should do, is display the number 1 for a second and then display the number 2 for a second and then because it's in the loop it's going to go back to displaying the number 1 and then 2 and then 1 and then 2. What I want you to do is to create a function for each digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 and then make uh, and then change the code in the loop here, add to this code so that it displays those numbers one after the other, giving a one second delay between each number. 